Good morning, you're watching ST Live. I'm Lin Li Fu. Shock and disappointment this morning. Reactions from the sporting community as Singapore's former Olympic swimming champion Joseph Schooling confesses to taking cannabis in May this year. The swimming, Singapore Swimming Association has expressed disappointment after news broke that Schooling and fellow national sw swimmer Amanda Lim consumed the drug in Hanoi. They were there in May to compete during the SEA Games. Schooling was on a short-term disruption from full-time national service to train and participate in the competition, where he won two golds and a bronze. Amanda Lim has been issued a stern warning by the Central Narcotics Bureau under the Misuse of Drugs Act. Joseph Schooling has also been warned and placed on a SAF-supervised urine test regime. He would no longer be eligible for leave or disruption to train or compete while in NS. This means he will likely miss next year's SEA Games in Cambodia, as well as the Asian Games in Hangzhou. For more, I'm joined by the Straits Times' journalist Deepan Raj Ganesan. Deepan, you were there in Hanoi covering the SEA Games. What could have happened then? And why is this emerging only now, more than three months later? Hi, Lin. Uh, yeah, for sure. I know it's taken everyone by surprise. Um, I was in Hanoi covering the SEA Games and actually we were staying in the same hotel uh, as the Singapore Swimming Contingent. Um, I would say nothing was amiss. Uh, we had no inkling that this had happened. Uh, but a lot of questions still remain. Uh, for example, when exactly did this happen? Uh, was this before the SEA Games started, during the SEA Games or after the competition had ended? Uh, we do know that the Singapore Swimming uh, Contingent in Hanoi uh, did have celebrations after the competition came to an end. Uh, they had a dinner inside the hotel and then a party uh, at the, the top floor of the hotel. So uh, it could have happened you know, anywhere before, during or after, like I mentioned earlier. And these are questions uh, that have to be answered. And you alluded to it as well. Um, the fact that uh, this incident has just come to light when they are saying that it happened, uh, schooling admitted to consumption in May. Uh, so why did it take so long for, for the authorities to, to come out with the, the matter? So what does this all mean for schooling? Will he be allowed to continue to swim competitively? Look, I think first and foremost that, that there needs to be more clarity on this. Uh, at the moment, what Mindef are saying is that his special privileges that was afforded to him uh, to take leaves, uh, to go for competitions, will be stripped away for the time being. Uh, but this does not uh, mean that he will not be able to train um, during his off days. Uh, this is something that can still happen. But if you, if you think about it, um, his operational ready date uh, is two years from now uh, in January. So you have to understand that this means that he will likely miss the SEA Games next year and the Asian Games as well. Uh, it's a very high possibility. Uh, and you know sportsmen, you know, when they work towards something, they work towards it with a target, uh, with a competition in mind. So you, you have to question, you know, what happens to him now as a competitive swimmer. Deepan, do you think he can come back from this? Look, um, he is, after all, Olympic gold medalist and you can't count him out. Uh, but I would say it makes it very, very difficult for him. Uh, and you have to look back, you know, in April this year, he did admit to the Straits Times that uh, he had retired for a few hours and then made a U-turn on that decision and he went on to compete at the SEA Games. Uh, this very much brings the question of retirement into the picture again. Uh, will Joseph Schooling now take that decision? Uh, has this decision been forced on him? Um, he will have to consider all this as he reflects back on what has happened. Thank you very much for that, Deepan Raj. Ganesan from the Straits Times. Let's turn now to Rohit Bridgenath, the Straits Times' assistant sports editor. Rohit, good to have you with us this morning. You have followed his career and interviewed Joseph Schooling numerous times. What do you think could have led to him giving in to what he called a moment of weakness in his Instagram post last night? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's always, uh, I guess, we're always surprised <clears throat> when a hero sort of trips up when he falls. It happens actually a lot of the time. It's obviously deeply disappointing. I am actually quite interested in, to know, you know, over time, you know, what really happened with Joseph was this, uh, you know, just a, a moment of utter stupidity, uh, you know, uh, a young man just making a wrong decision or is this something deeper? Because... Often what happens to champions is champions actually, it's a strange thing, but even after they win gold, Olympic champions often suffer from depression. They get lost. They don't know what direction to go. 
Joseph, after 2016, when he won gold, has been up and down, I would say. You know, trained in America, trained in Singapore, was never as fast as he was in Rio. He lost his father, his beloved father recently. So sometimes I feel in a way that Joseph is searching for direction. So this is not an excuse, but definitely there has to, we have to try and understand what leads a young man who is unique actually in our landscape because nobody else uh, from Singapore has won Olympic gold. So, so what happened to him? What's led him to this? You know, is it just, he's going to pay, uh, you know, uh, sort of some, there's a cost to this. So, uh, I mean, already his reputation is a little bit tarnished. I mean, it's going to be embarrassing for him. People are talking about regular urine tests. I mean, it's just not the sort of stuff that anybody wants. But I also feel that this could be a young man in pain and we should take no pleasure from where he's put himself. Absolutely, Rohit. The history of sports is littered with many of such fallen heroes, from another swimmer, Michael Phelps, to Tiger Woods. And this must be a crushing blow to Joseph's schooling. How will this latest development affect his legacy? Well, I think that, you know, it, it, it's possible. I mean, I'm, uh, it's possible for a, a young man to be an inspirational tale and a cautionary tale both at once. Uh, that's what it is. I mean, nobody can take away that gold medal for him, from him. And I think that's really important. And of course, this uh, blemish is going to also remain for a while. But, you know... The one thing about athletes, uh, or rather the two things of athletes is one thing is they understand consequences and Joseph will understand that. And, you know, that because the athletic life is about consequences. You train hard, you win. You don't train hard, you don't win. You do something stupid, you're going to pay for it. So they, I think he understands consequences. But I also think that athletes are tough and I think Joseph is tough. And I think he's going to try and repair himself. And, uh, and I think he'll do that. I mean, I, I, I like him very much. Uh, I, I, I'm disappointed, but I've not changed my opinion of him. I think he's a terrific young man. And, 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 I, and I hope he repairs himself because I think this nation cares for him. He's, he's let them down, yes. But uh, I, I think they, you know, he, 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 he will be, well, he will have to learn from it one way or the other. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your perspectives with us, Rohit. Rohit Bridgenath, The Straits Times' assistant sports editor. And our coverage continues on StraitsTimes.com and on Facebook as well as YouTube. Don't forget to hit subscribe to stay informed and activate the bell icon on YouTube to catch live news updates. I'm Lin Li Fu. Thanks for watching.